As a participant in the Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative, or PPMI, you are making a tremendous contribution to research that could someday improve the lives of millions of people. It is the extraordinary commitment of everyday people that allows clinical studies to go forward, bringing us closer to new and better treatments for disease. By donating spinal fluid over the course of the study through a procedure called a lumbar puncture, volunteers will help to create an unprecedented scientific resource that could significantly speed development of better treatment options for Parkinson's. We want to give you a preview of this routine but vital procedure so that you'll know what to expect. PPMI is the first Parkinson's disease study of its kind. Its goal is to identify biomarkers of Parkinson's disease. A biomarker is a substance or a, an, a way to, to identify in a person what is going on with them in terms of any kind of disease process. Parkinson's is a disease of the brain and um, we'd all love to have a biomarker um, from blood, uh, but if you've looked at blood, it's full of stuff from all over the body. Cerebrospinal fluid or spinal fluid surrounds the brain. It contains the proteins and the other substances that are produced by the brain. And by taking a sample of this fluid, we can assess the biochemical events that are happening in a living human being. And analyses of these substances will provide vital information that will help us develop new and improved therapeutic and diagnostic techniques. This is the only access we have to brain chemicals in a living person. On the day that you come in for your lumbar puncture, you'll review the procedure once again with the nurse, check vital signs, and make yourself comfortable while the medical team does their job. Morning, Carolyn. In addition to the doctor who performs the procedure, a nurse will be present throughout to make sure you're comfortable, and a laboratory technician will be on hand to gather the samples of spinal fluid. I'm going to go wash my hands now, and then we're going to get you... The doctor will tell you exactly what he or she is doing and exactly what you need to do. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to take a feel of the bones of your spine. Okay, now I'm going to wash your back off, Carolyn, and it's going to feel cold and wet. I'm going to do it three times. You ready? Here it comes, cold and wet. Carolyn, I'm going to do the part that hurts just a little, where I put the local anesthetic in. For most people, the only sting is that moment when the local anesthetic goes in, just like at the dentist. Once it's in, we're ready to insert the needle and collect cerebrospinal yeah. fluid. Yeah. Okay, now you should be numbed up. But I just want you to know that um, you shouldn't feel any sharp pain when I put the real thing in, the real needles. So if you do, uh -huh. then you're going to let me know, and I'm just going to put more numbing medicine in, okay? Okay. okay? In most cases, it takes about 10 minutes to collect two tablespoons of fluid, which will give researchers okay. dozens of samples to test for proteins and other brain chemicals, or biomarkers. There's a less than 1% risk of getting a post-lumbar puncture headache. And before you go home, the doctor will explain to you what to do okay. if you get one. Um, any more questions? The whole atmosphere was calm. There was somebody by my side there just to make sure everything was going well from my perspective. I think she asked me if I was okay every two minutes. Um, she was checking. When you participate in research, you are giving something money can't buy. Every clinical study aims to fulfill the promise of scientific innovation, but these studies can be successful only with the participation of committed volunteers. Not only will biomarkers make earlier diagnosis possible, they are also vital to drug development. Well, there are a couple of drugs um, that have been purported to perhaps treat the disease itself, but the problem has really been separating out that symptom from true disease progression, and that's where we, we really have lacked a biomarker for Parkinson's to allow us to do that. The samples collected in the PPMI will be made available to qualified researchers all over the world for future studies that could speed the development of improved treatments for Parkinson's disease. The other thing that we're creating here is a, a bank of data and biomarkers, spinal fluid, um, blood, brain imaging, that can be used by a number of different investigators almost forever. And the, really the benefit in the most altruistic sense is a, gaining a kind of immortality from contributing to research that will benefit future generations. I get asked all the time, you know, how close are we to finding a cure or to finding a treatment that really affects the disease or prevents the disease? And, 
And of course, I don't, I don't know the answer to that question. I, I, I can guarantee you that this kind of study is critical to move us forward. Um, and that if we don't keep doing research, we're certainly not going to get to that point any sooner. It's a big commitment, but a really, really worthwhile commitment. There's not a reason not to do it. It's, it's, it was a small investment on my part and is benefiting hundreds of thousands of people.